Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about how you can cheat your boss. So in this video I will tell you how you can keep your active status on with a green signal on your computer. In different companies they have different mechanisms and methods to know whether their employee is working when they are telling that they are working from home. For example in my company they'll check the number of productive hours I have that is basically the number of hours my system is switched on and not in a sleeping position. In some companies your manager might come and check whether your system is on by checking your status in Google status or Teams or any other software that you're using. So today I'll teach you how to develop a macro that is using Excel you can create a macro that will not let your system sleep. So while this macro is running, your system will not go into a hibernation mode or your system will not turn off. So let's not waste much time and get into the video. For this macro, this is a very small macro. It might hardly take around 6 or 7 lines. So for writing this, let's go to the developer tab here and click on Visual Basic. If you can't find your developer tab or if you are too lazy to go to the developer tab, you can click on Alt plus F11 to open that. Alt plus F11. This is your VBA editor window or your Visual Basic editor window. For the editor window to appear here, let's go to this white area which is also called as Project Explorer and right click anywhere here. And this, go to Insert and let's select a module. So we have a module named Module 1 here. Inside this module, we'll start writing our code. So let's start writing by opening a sub procedure. So sub cheat boss and let's put brackets here and click enter so in real life i would advise you not put something like this and put something else so inside this area let's write our code so the code will start writing ding i as integer and click enter and let's write a for loop so for i is equal to 1 to 1000 click enter application dot send keys and put a space and inside bracket let's put quotes and put this and close the bracket and let's click enter Let's also put application dot wait and put a space and inside bracket let's put the time. For time let's put now that is this time plus time value inside bracket inside string let us write 0, 0, 0 and 10 that is 10 seconds so for 1 to 1000 for each of this i that is 1, 2, 3, 4 till 1000 it will take 10 seconds between each of these numbers so it's around 10,000 seconds I guess yeah now let's close the bracket for this one here and let's click enter and now let's close the for loop by writing next i and let's click enter and n sub is already there this is our code so once you run this code your program automatically start running so let's click here or instead of that let's also create a button in our worksheet so let's go back to our worksheet here and go to insert and let's click on shapes and select a random shape you want let's select this particular shape here and make a button like this you can make of any sizes you want done now if you want some text on it you can click on edit text and write some text don't sleep 
Okay, so let me just edit this text, control A and home tab and I'll increase the size to maybe 72 or more than that. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, so I'll change the font type. These are all just decorations. This is not a necessary thing. So I'll this or this or this and very bad at formatting things. Yeah. So this is our button. Let us assign the macro we just created or the just created to this. For that, let's click on this and right click and go to assign macro. Let's click on assign macro and remember the name of the function of the sub procedure we just created. Gbox. Let's double click on it. It is assigned now. So every time you want to leave your laptop but you don't want the laptop to go to sleep mode, you can just come and click here and your system will start running this macro, the Excel will start running the macro and your system won't get turned off or go into hibernation mode up to 10,000 seconds. Now, you can change this 10,000 seconds here. Instead of 10, you can put 20 seconds here. All these things. Instead of 1 to 1,000, you can change this. But I would personally suggest you don't change it because Excel cannot hold a lot of data like one to one track or something. Your system might get stuck or hung or all these things. So, 1 to 1,000 and 20 seconds or 10 seconds sounds very bad. So, 10,000 seconds might come up around and too easy to calculate now kind of numbers yeah so this is how you can create a macro now if you want to save this macro in your system and next time you don't want to write code again you can go to file here and click on save as and then you should save as in a special format for that let me just select some okay so I'll save this in this particular folder or in browse and yeah. So what you can do here is you can write the name, some random name here for the workbook. But usually you save your workbook workbook as an Excel workbook here. Right. Instead of that, click here and click on Excel macro enable work workbook. If you're not saving this file as a Excel macro enable workbook, next time your code won't work so make sure you are saving it as an excel macro enabled workbook that is instead of excel sx it will come as excel sm so click here and you can press save just get it saved and done so every time you want your system not to go on a hibernation you can just click on this and leave your laptop as it is so let me just click here and i'll sign off from this video for more videos about excel and google sheet and google sites and all those things please do watch the videos i have posted before thank you